Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and we just had somebody email us asking how they could get rid of geckos and whether or not they were dangerous. And to people that have never seen geckos before, they may be a bit surprised when they finally see one crawling up their walls or outside somewhere. They look quite strange and even people living in regions where geckos are natural, they may not have had enough exposure to geckos to be used to their presence. Again. They look quite weird, and geckos can often be found infesting people's homes, and the reason for this is because they are small, able to climb surfaces easily, and extremely agile, but more on this in just a minute. While they may resemble other poisonous creatures in a way, such as snakes, geckos are for the most part harmless. They rarely bite, and when they do, they typically are not strong enough to even pierce the skin. At the most, it would just feel like somebody is pinching you. But even that being said, most of the time they're just going to run away. They're extremely afraid of us. However, if you do try to catch a gecko or play with it in any way, keep in mind that there is a possibility it could try to bite you. And besides that, geckos also have a bit of the ability to get rid of their tail. So their tail might fall off and that would maybe not be the most pleasant thing to see if you grab a gecko by its tail. Now if you are noticing several geckos around your property, then it may be indicative of a greater problem. You see, while the geckos themselves pose very little threat to us, both in terms of potentially transmitting diseases or physical danger, the reason that they are hanging around your home is an entirely different story. You see, geckos love to eat all kinds of insects. They'll eat just about any insect that comes their way. Therefore, if you have a gecko problem in which there are a lot of geckos around your home or they're going inside of your home or you're just constantly seeing geckos all the time around your home, then it could be an indication that you actually have an insect problem. If you don't see all kinds of ants, flies, spiders, and other insects around your home and inside of your home, then it could mean that they are infesting inside of the attic, or in between the walls, or other secret areas. And in order to get rid of the geckos which are infesting your homes, you're going to have to follow standard advice for removing the insects. And in fact, a lot of the advice of how to get rid of insects, for example using garlic, or mothballs, or kaon, or something like that, that kind of advice is actually going to deter the geckos as well from entering your home. All of that being said, if the standard advice for getting rid of insects, which is pretty much just mothballs and kaon and you know a few other things that a quick google search will reveal, if that does not get rid of the geckos, then there is a very strong chance that the insects could be infesting between the walls in the attic or someplace like this. And this is becoming a very common pattern of all kinds of wildlife and insect creatures because with the urbanization of humanity, they're finding it a lot easier for them to survive inside of our homes as well than it is in the wild. So if you think that you could have an insect or gecko or any wildlife related problem, please give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit www.wildlifexteam.com and we'll be sure to talk with you and we'll determine whether or not there's a problem and whether or not it needs fixing. Thank you so much for watching this video and in short, geckos are not going to be directly harmful to you. However, if you would like to get rid of them, follow the standard advice for getting rid of insects because they are probably attracted to the insects around or inside of your home. And if all else fails, give us a call and we'll help you out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.